So last week I posted this video. And then shortly after I deleted it because I rewatched it and cringed really, really hard at how dramatic I was. But after watching it back, I decided that I couldn't live like this anymore. Back in January, I got COVID. I was isolated for two straight weeks to the upstairs portion of my family's home because I was living with them at the time. And for two weeks straight, I stayed quarantined to the upstairs in hopes to not infect my parents as they are older and are more susceptible to getting COVID. Since my isolation, I honestly haven't felt the same. Physically, I am okay. But mentally, I haven't, well, <laughs> physically, you girls packed on some weight. <laughs> But mentally, I have been struggling. Most days, I don't see a point in trying to do anything. My work ethic is way lower than usual, and my depression has started to creep back. I spend my days mindlessly scrolling on social media, completely tuning out the world. Even trying to come up with something to say in this voiceover is challenging, and I already want to quit. I honestly just feel like shit all the time. I don't know if this has anything to do with COVID, or maybe it has everything to do with COVID and the shitty political climate we are living in. Who knows? All I know is I feel terrible all the time. So this week, I set out to try my hardest to feel better. I was honestly desperate to feel some type of serotonin. Okay, before we start the video, <laughs> that clip of me looking out the window. What is the drama? What is the drama there? I'm sorry. I'm an actress. Put me in the pictures. Good morning. I look like shit first of all because I just woke up, but I thought... I would try to get myself out of this depressive little slump that I'm in because I don't really feel like doing this video and I don't feel like filming and I just wanna lay in bed, but I know that it's not good and it's just going to give in to my depressive episode. So we're gonna wake up and we're gonna try to get our day started. It is noon. I'm trying to figure out how to make my parents a vaccine appointment because it's not easy and there's no clear instructions and it varies state by state. We signed up with the Georgia Department of Health and then they said they would contact us but then I heard from somebody else that you have to actually go to like the Walgreens website and make it and it's just stupid nothing is clear I feel really bad for all the older people who don't either don't have a computer or don't have a young person to help them it sucks this fucking country sucks okay anyways on that note let's get up I don't want to go. I don't want to get up. I just want to sit here all day. Med time. You guys, look at my bathroom. It's not good. As I looked around more, I realized all my spaces were a mess. Every single one. I hadn't even realized how messy it had gotten until it was already a disaster. Hopefully, if I sit here next to my plants, it'll give me energy. It'll give me strength. Help me. Make me feel better. Please. Please make me feel better. Honestly, I haven't been in a depressive song like this in a really long time, so I don't really know what's happening. I think, you know what I think it is? I think it's just like everything in, I said in my previous video that I posted and quarantine and COVID, it's like heightened everything. I also just want to say thank you so much for all the really nice comments I got on my last video. I was not expecting the outpour <laughs> of people like rooting for me. And it was really nice to hear and see. It very much validated and made me feel really good. Even though I should try to find that validation within myself. Hello. So I'm sitting outside with my food. I made myself a breakfast sandwich. Oh, it's hot, but I kind of burnt that bitch just a little. I thought I would come sit out here because it's better than being inside. It's kind of gloomy though, so that sucks. Ah, oh, goodness me. Me oh my. So we're just outside, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and then breathing out again. Oh. <sighs> I have a call later today that's kind of um, making me nervous. It's like on my mind, but I am determined to make today good. Mm, she's got cheese. She's got sausage. She's got egg. Look at your eye. Come on. Run, bitch, run. Hello, everyone. So I'm here in my office about to have this Zoom meeting that I'm so nervous about for some reason. There I am. There I am. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I just like don't have meetings, especially like face to face meetings, like on Zoom and stuff. So that's like kind of scary. But I guess I'll see y'all after. Wish me luck. 
Ugh, for this part, I forgot to turn on my mic. So here's a fast paced video of me just doing things. And, um, yep, I don't know. It's just the audio, the mic wasn't on. I just realized that the. <laughs> What I was saying before, before I realized I didn't have my mic on, is um, I had the meeting. It took like eight minutes. It was really nice. I'm very excited for what I'm about to do, but there's a chance that it might not happen. So I'm just going to put it out into the universe that it will happen because I'm wonderful and I'm great. So there's nothing... <laughs> There's nothing stopping me. Okay, I just wanna talk about how this country does such a terrible job notifying its citizens um, how to do things, AKA how to get the vaccine because I just tried to sign up my parents earlier this morning. I had to like ask around because I, we signed up and then they didn't, it was just like a mess. It's like, there was no clear instructions and they'll say we'll get back to you, but they don't actually get back to you. It's fucked up. Bitch, it's fucked up. Anyways, I'm about to sit here and edit some gaming content because I'm in the mood to do that. And I'm doing things that make me feel good today, even though I should be, oh, I should be doing my taxes. I need to get my tax stuff together, bug. <laughs> She's a runner, she's a track star. I want to show you this new uh, keyboard that I got, keyboard mouse combo nation. Look at her, wow. So the rumors are true, I am playing Fortnite right now because I need to take a load off, I need to take the edge off. But I am somewhat out of my depressive episode, I won't lie. I mean, who would have thought that listening to your body and doing exactly what you want to do would make you feel a little better, even if it's just for one day. Hi guys, it's been four hours um, since I last saw you because I've been streaming. Uh, I just streamed for four hours and it really made me feel a lot better. I think connecting with you all makes me feel really good inside. Now I'm in the bathroom. This is the second bathroom that's upstairs that is my sister's, but she's away at school, so I just kind of hang out in here sometimes. Hi. I took a shower, did all the night stuff, and now I'm ready for bed. So I think I'm going to do something to make me feel a little better called reading. I heard that's good for you. I've suffered from an eating disorder basically my whole life and I found this awesome woman named Caroline who wrote this book called The Fuck It Diet and it's all about disordered eating. I bought this years ago and I don't think I've ever been ready to read it until now. You know what I mean? Like obviously you know the facts. When you have like some sort of addiction, eating disorder, you know the facts, right? But you don't want to hear the facts. We're gonna read tonight. Already? This is gonna be me reading. Gorilla the Spino. <laughs> so there's this TikTok that I saw, or no, I'm not, I think it was a TikTok. And I have not been able to get it out of my head. So before I read, I want to show it to you. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh. <laughs> Bitch, I'm Gorilla the Spino. Oh well, Ranga Tanga Bangin. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> like it makes no sense like no sense but it's so funny oh gorilla has been on. i'm gonna do this thing where i put my phone on my charging dock and i don't touch it and then we're gonna read like the scholar that i am okay orangutanga bang this looks like the start of a porno okay i'm done Hello everyone, welcome back. It's the morning, no, it's noon. So welcome to me trying to get on my depressive episode. I'm sitting here with my coffee and breakfast and I'm about to start streaming <laughs> because the new Fortnite came out last night and I wanna do that now. Having some honey bunches of oats. Mm, I feel so much better today than I did yesterday. Like I feel somewhat hopeful, so that's good. Oh, keyboard. I'm gonna stream now, I'll see y'all later. Oh my God. Holy shit, that scared me. So I ended up streaming Fortnite, and then afterwards, I got really sad for some reason. I decided to lay down, and that turned into a three hour nap. When I woke up, it was super dark and gloomy, and I was feeling even worse than I was before, because it felt like I just let my day go. So I did what any normal person would do, and I got up and got a beer. <laughs> then I started wondering if that was categorized as sad drinking. <laughs> Hi. 
Good morning, it's me. So this morning, we'll do like a little wellness check. I woke up very sad. I've been waiting, yeah, you guys. So a little wellness check. I woke up very sad today, um, but that's okay because I think I turned it around. I had some avocado toast. I imported a project. I downloaded a game for my stream tonight. Um, I'm doing a client project and I'm really actually excited about. This morning I woke up and I was like, this is not it. I was like, I think I was like on the verge of a panic attack, but then I was like, no. No, no. I kind of have like a lot going on today, which is different from the last three days of just being sad and depressed. So I do thrive on doing stuff. It's just getting there is so hard. It's like I'm over here and the journey to like get over here to be productive is just so hard. I definitely suffer from like um, attention deficit issues. So that doesn't help. Yeah. Don't think about it. Hi guys! It's Saturday! It's Saturday. My hair is greasy. I didn't shower last night, but that's okay because I'm about to get outside today, you guys. I feel pretty good today. I'm gonna go see a friend. I'm gonna go pick us up some brunch because it's like very late. We're gonna go get us breakfast sandwiches and coffee and then we're gonna go for a walk. I'm on my way. Let's go get us some breakfast. I'm going to this place called Star Provisions. It's like a little, it's like a little place with things to eat. Oh, my hair is so greasy. I don't have a hair tie, but the natural curls are here. Hi, I'm back. Hello. So we just ate. It was yummy. I got a latte. They didn't provide lids. It's fine. I got some kombucha. This is Golda kombucha. It's my favorite kombucha I've ever had. It's Atlanta based. It's so good. It's a lavender lemonade. Oh, and guess what? The star of the show that I got. I also got a whole ass baguette, bitch. I got a baguette. I'll show you her. Meow, 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 meow. I've been feeling you. Mmm. It's like smoky. Oh, yummy. So anyways, I'm gonna sit in the car. I'm just sitting in the car now. I'm waiting for Azure, my friend, to come out of her apartment. Cause we're gonna go on a walk. Yeah. Hello? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm eating the baguette in the car. Sorry. I'll come. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff in my hand. My car's still running. Oh my god. I thought I was waiting for you. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog. Hi. This is Azure. I want one more bite. Oh my god. This is like it's on crack. <laughs> Why are my lips powdery? Oh my god. This is not funny. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at that shake. She's shaking. She hates the car. forgot to update you but we've been driving around literally all afternoon looking at houses for sale look at that one cute don't know if anyone lives there um we're looking at houses we're literally just going on zillow and we're driving around oh my god look at this house that is interesting Black. we're in the bougie we're in the bougie part of town so this has been a day i have not had to do like this in over a year so right now we are going to whole foods to get us something to eat for Din Din. So this is this is the tea, you guys. We're going to Whole Foods, and I'm gonna get some snacks. I'm like hungry, so I know I'm just gonna. Oh, are you, oh, are you touching me? Oh, sorry. Oh my god, my mask. I tickled so bad. It was my mask. So I do a Paula Deen impression, and I was just doing it now, and so I'm about to do it. Ready? Hi, y'all. It's Paula Dane. I think I got the y'all. It's like a nasally y'all. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Hi, y'all. You know Paula Dean's from Georgia? Yeah. She's from Albany. The juxtaposition of the beginning of the week versus now is just crazy. My arm hurts from holding this damn thing. day like this in so long i can't even believe it today was real and it wasn't even anything crazy like we just rode around got food went and saw houses for sale 
cook dinner but it felt so good i just have not gotten out of the house like that in so long and it was so needed like i didn't look at my computer i barely looked at my phone it was just such a good day it was so productive in the way that is good for you in order to be healthy and live i'm just not realizing i have to have days like that like i have to have days where i solely dedicate to just doing me obviously in a safely manner until we all get vaccinated and like i can't even believe how fulfilled and happy i feel right now it's crazy the start of this week i was so sad and depressed and i didn't think anything was gonna go right and now we're at the end of the week and it's just so good it feels i just feel so much better that ain't the baby that's my baby